So again, your boys, mile field. This is the last shot for these guys to qualify for the Dream Mile. This, re this race represents many of the best in the state of Florida, but we do have a sprinkle of out-of-staters led by none other than Connor Mance coming away, coming here all the way from Utah. Last year he was in the Dream Mile, but he knows he's got to either run fast or he's got to win this race in order to get a return trip to New York. He's run a 407 mile. Then you have from Oklahoma, state champion there, Bryce Balancefen. These guys are about to start. And they're off. Then you also you have Avery Bartlett. He's probably my favorite among the Florida guys that could have a shot to win this. He was a double state champion in the 16-8. Got great strength, great leg speed. You also have Stephen Cross, Frank Pittman, Franco Martins, Brandon Marquez. It's a who's who of top guys in Florida. Connor Peoples, William Amon, Dominic Williams. Carlin Berryhill, Adam Bratmuller, and Zach Capello. Seed times range from 4.07 to 4.20. That's Carlin Bailey Hill, Berryhill with Bryce Ballas-Seifen and Connor Mance on the outside with Berryhill having led early, but you see the two out-of-staters now, the Oklahoman and, and the Utah State champ, the Okie and Mance from Utah go through 65 seconds. So 65 through the first quarter. Bounce Seifen, Mance. So that's Avery Bartlett. They go through 600 meters, about 137. So Avery Bartlett, he's probably the one you got to respect as far as a kick. He kind of took over the mantle from Suki Colesaw this year as a top miler in the state of Florida. Actually beat Suki last year in a 405, 404, 1600 at the state meet just a couple weeks ago. But coming through the 800, a half mile, 800 about 204 half mile 206 207 so these guys have to roll after Seamus Love ran a 415 in that first section so still Bal Seifen from Oklahoma, Mance, and you got Avery Bartley now moving on the inside of Mance. You look at the size difference between Mance and Bartlett. Mance is a grinder. He's going to have to really push it from here because Bartlett has got the wheels and bounce Seifen. So Bartlett's run 49 seconds in the 400. So these guys are going to have to create some separation. This guy is in perfect position right now, Avery Bartlett. Can Connor Mance get up in the mix? Bounce Seifen has been leading throughout so much that 308. Now keep in mind, like I said, 415 was the winning time in that last heat by Seamus Love. So these guys are definitely have to kick it in. So it's Balance Seifen, Bartlett, Mance, your top three. It looks like it's going to be down to these three guys. Who wants it more now? It's all down to the last 200 meters. They're at 338, 339. This is it for all the marbles. Adidas Dream Mile on the line. Last 200 meters. Balance Seifen, Bartlett, Mance. Who wants it more? Last 100 meters. Oh my gosh, could Carter Mance do it? Carter Mance is making the move. The pass, Bart is passing it back. Who's going to take it all the way to the line? Oh my gosh, that was so close. Who got it? Bartlett came back. 
But was it enough? You couldn't ask for a better race. It's Bartlett, 408.55. Mance, 408.57. Two hundredths of a second separating that auto spot to the Dita Stream mile. You can't ask for a better setup there, guys. You could tell both those guys won it so much, and they left it all out there. That was a heck of a race from all three of those guys. Bound Stephen making the trip from Oklahoma. He set the race up, ran 411 for third. Connor Mance, not known as necessarily the greatest wheels or kicker, and he almost ran down a guy that runs a 49 in the open 400 in Avery Bartlett. But Bartlett was able to summon his strength when Mance made the pass to come back on him and get that spot. He's going to New York for a Dia Stream mile. You got to give respect, though, to Connor Mance making the trip from Utah. That race there has to give him some consideration, potentially for an at-large for an invite, but those spots are going up pretty fast. Unfortunately, there's going to be a few good guys that aren't going to be able to make that trip and earn a spot there on the line there on June 13th at Icon Stadium. But heck of a race there for Avery Bartlett leaving it all out there on the line. And there he is. Your Golden South Mile champion, Avery Bartlett. He's going to New York. Congratulations.